Welcome to today's DDRS. Oh, today is the end of this prescription. Check your choices. So we want to look at Shem and Japheth versus Am. And these are three children of uh, Noah. We see honor versus humiliation. Honor means something valuable, precious, weighty, such as gold, appreciation, esteem, favorable regard, or respect. And honor is a key to receiving from heaven. Honor is the key to receiving from heaven. You know, by honoring those God appoints over us, we honor God. In turn, God will honor us. So to honor our parents is not a suggestion. It's not a recommendation. It's a commandment. It's a commandment. How do we honor our parents? We recognize them. We receive them well. We respect them. We are never rude to them. We don't fight them. We obey them. We celebrate their milestones. So there are a lot of dangers in dishonoring our parents. In Deuteronomy 27, 16, Cost is he who dishonors his father or his mother. All the people shall say, Amen. So in Genesis 9, uh, we have a narrative, you know, of how Noah uh, was drunk. And in verse 22, And Am, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. Uh, you know what happened? In verse 23, But Shem and Javed took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. But Ham, humiliated his father. He dishonored Noah, and Noah cursed him. It is the cause that followed uh, Ham. In fact, people are saying so many things that because, you know, there is a continent that is already cursed, you know, and they are unable to rise above the state of servanthood. And they think that is as a result of Noah's cause. You know, it's because Ham forgot the contribution of his father that the father had made to his existence. Ham forgot that it was his father, Noah, who had from God and obeyed the call. That if his father had not built the ark, he would have drowned along with the rest of the world. But the same Noah blessed Shem and Javed. He said in Genesis 9 verse 26 and 27, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. May God enlarge Javed, and may he dwell in the tent of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. You see, honor pays. Why don't you honor your parents? Thank you.